All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. When it's dark at Fish Pond Lake near Jenkins, it's really dark. But on Saturday, kayakers lit the night at Fish Pond during the Glow on the Pond event. Now in its second year, the fundraising event for the upcoming Letcher County Mountain Heritage Festival welcomes kayakers to take part in a group paddle to the center of the lake in kayaks decorated with just about anything one could imagine, including, of course, lots of lights. Organizer Chris Cottle, a Mountain Heritage Festival committee member, said the event was inspired by a similar event in nearby Pound, Virginia. Last year I threw it together in about a week and a half and uh, it was very successful. Everybody uh, loved it. This year uh, I had a little more time to work on it. I had some different categories and the best overall and, and had had about the same amount of people uh, show up with kayaks this year as I did last year but the audience was a whole lot more um, and, and people really seemed to enjoy it. Last year, about 19 kayaks took part. This year, that number increased to 23. And Glow on the Pond also drew a large crowd of spectators anxious to see the lights from the kayaks lighting up Fish Pond. It was a good turnout. Like I said, they had all kinds of people coming, sitting on the, on the grass and watching. And, and my favorite part of uh, seeing, I guess, of the event would be how much work people actually put into a kayak that compared to last year. Uh, last year, you know, we had some good kayaks and, and, and had a good time. This year, there was more lights. Uh, there was less glow sticks, which the glow sticks is fine. You know, it's cool, but uh, people, you could tell, put a lot more effort into it this year. Cottle said he's already planning for and looking forward to the third glow on the pond in 2018. In Letcher County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.